attacks, the F-Tilt, and all the aerials as well. You can see why this is such a big struggle for Olimar, even without the Reflector coming into play. These hitboxes for Wolf are so useful for dealing with mid -min, oh, sorry, mid -min, Pikmin and uh, yeah. just general attacks from Olimar. He's just got hitboxes that are really durable and do a lot of damage, so they just clank with a lot of stuff. They get Pikmin off you really quickly. Uh, and they've got a decent amount of range. Like, Wolf's aerials are just really, really good. And that helps a lot. In this oh, and yeah, the blaster as well. Just destroying the red Pikmin. That purple one's a bit more sturdy, so going to survive it. But got to imagine that the purple Pikmin is close to losing its life as well. And how the matchup usually goes against Alf is that if there's purple on there, you focus on killing it instead of Alf himself. Yeah, you want to get rid of the purples. You don't want... You know, someone to enter the Myron zone have, you know, <laughs> two two purples and a blue or two purples and a yellow. Uh, and Minimo has done a really good job of doing that. We actually saw Minimo forcing Hollow onto Solomar for a second there, just because yeah. he had to chuck the purple to be able to recover back to stage. Uh, and you, you never want to be playing Solomar. Yeah. That's, <laughs> That's something you only do in Solomar Dittos, perhaps, but... <laughs> yeah, no, you don't. Like, you, your options are Nair and F-Tilt, and that's it. And, and down tilt. Down tilt's actually a pretty good poke. Oh! But all that down and a three still coming out from Minimo. That oh! was dominant from yeah. start to finish. That was a wipe. Uh, and just taking advantage, kind of learning those recovery habits and just taking advantage of how slow and kind of exploitable mm. it is. There's no hitbox on that recovery. You're not exactly. throwing a bunch of stuff out to cover yourself you're gonna get hit for it. Yeah, I mean, Hollow having basically no footing throughout that game, just almost always in the corner, or as you said, without Pikmin basically, because Minimo is either pressuring Hollow to get rid of them or just killing them outright with all these attacks that both dealing with the Pikmin and zoning all of them are out from certain areas of the stage. Let's see if there's any adaptations we saw, see come out in this game too, and that is some form of adaptation. So this yeah, matchup's that... just not working, you go to another character and there's the banjo. But we're starting to see players play around the best of five for them. Yeah. We're starting to see players kind of adapt to that a little bit more. Uh, and, you know, be willing to counter pick and be willing to, to do stuff like that. I will be interested to see if all of top eight is being streamed if it is uh, best of five. Yeah, I mean... Because uh, that, yeah. Uh, hopefully we have the time for that, because I, I, the more sets we get to see, the better. Yeah, and we're already off to a good start in terms of the quality of these sets. And here, Minimo off to another good start as well. Yeah, uh, again, just kind of doing the same thing. He's just winning neutral more. Um, Minimo's Definitely. not got like all of the technical Wolf IDJ combos or anything like that, but yeah. he has got really good oh, fundamentals. Oh, what a grenade forward smash conversion. Wow. Speaking of tech and setups in <laughs> yeah. particular. Yeah, Ban Banjo is... Um, has a lot of setups that not, not many people know about. Or yeah. haven't been too, too well utilized in brackets, but... Um, it's interesting, because we went from a character that's never used in Europe to a character that's way more common in the UK than anywhere else. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this character is really yeah. common here. It's funny, because you look at tier lists in other regions, and they put Banjo in, like, bottom 10. And, and we don't do that! <laughs> yeah, we you don't come do here, that. it's like, wait, why is Banjo, like, so high up? <laughs> yeah, it's because we got Solid Gamer, we've got, uh, I think Maze Beans has a Banjo as well. Owl, of course. So, Banjo is just a much more relevant character over here. And then they're going to intercept from the platform there. It's so long lasting, and this is a lot of percent that's been racked up onto the second stock. Minimo's still trying to find this first stock here. But Efto probably going to do it. Yes, it is. Yeah, quite yeah. vital. It will be too detrimental to lose another stock. Uh, Forder is almost going to take it, actually. Yeah. Unlucky there to not snap to ledge and also not be like above the ledge enough to hit Minimo. Mm. Yeah, this Minimo's gonna have to be careful here because a grab is probably gonna mean death here. Oh, soft forward air hitting on ledge there. Yeah, really hard to get the two frame there. Got the drag down back air, but just couldn't react to the fact that he hit it in time. And this oh. is where Minimo can take advantage of the come back smash. smash. Another yeah. one. Another one. Paul is just fighting these openings and capitalizing completely. And it's really good knowledge of like the basics of this game to understand like, oh, they're air dodging, I can run through them now. Jostle doesn't mm. apply here. And so I can use that to my advantage and uh Or oh, the get drag down into the here. grab? Doesn't get the follow, but this is still good percent. It was so vital for Hall to take that stock because Minimo was building a lot of this momentum. It's completely shifted the other way once again. 
Good spacing, oh, but... Dodge, there it is. Yeah, a little, little bit of hurtbox shifting coming into play there. It was some great spacing from Hollow, but just couldn't account for how low Wolf goes in that up smash. Yeah, massive low profile and high profile on that move. Uh, but this is still a healthy lead here from Hollow. And he uh, ooh, misses the grab that would have been really useful. And Minimo starting to get some more hits together on this last stock. Yeah, it can be difficult to hit those turnarounds sometimes. And Minimo's starting to win these air to airs. He's got to be careful. Oh, the mix up on the shield. We hadn't seen a side B like that. Because a lot of the time after the bomb, it was grab or nair. Yeah. But the side B throws in a timing mix up. It's slower than the other options. And Minimo just dropping shield there. I'm expecting another it, move. Honestly, it might have shield poked. Like that's there's, also there's true, yeah. but like, there's just a lot of pressure you can apply with that. Hollow didn't really hit that many side Bs, but he just knew when the setup had to be. He didn't use that many either. He'd only used, what, two? And that's what lasted a while. Yeah. He's just very good at saving it for kind of just the right moment and making the most of it. Yeah, because even if he misses it as well, not the easiest to punish that given the positioning that they were at, so... Um, pretty low risk play that paid off in a big way. We're one one going into game three here. This banjo counter has worked out. Let's see if it continues to do so as we go to small battlefield. Well, immediately with Tomahawk F tilt gets stuffed up with Minimo's grab here, and picking up the grenade doesn't convert on it, and they're trading very small conversions back and forth. Yeah. Just nickel and dimes so far. Okay, you see less trap here. Yeah, Minimo very patient, waiting for the grenade to be basically out of play there. Yeah, very smart to just kind of wait there. And the thing about this stage uh, in comparison to the other stages is because the platforms cover so much space on the stage, it can be a little bit more difficult to deal with nade at times, even though the stage is smaller. Yeah, and you can see it's pretty even start, but that, wow, two uppers into a back here. That's really good percent. And not going to be able to make it back as well. No time to pull Grenade down there. And Minimo's off to a great start here. Yeah, he's just very good at ledge trapping you for a really long time and then picking up those games and those edge cards when he needs to. Like yeah, grab scooping from really far. And there's the tech chase. Wolf gets so much out of those tech chases. Just has to read which direction you're going or just cover it to play safe. Yeah. That's the thing is you can kind of... Minimo's very good at anticipating, so... In those situations, he'll like run up to you, and then if he thinks you're gonna roll, he'll kind of fade back. But he won't pick an option until he sees it. Until exactly. he reacts, he positions himself in a place to react. Yeah, it's so important in this game, and tries to go for a jump read with that forward air, but it's gonna be put off stage with that back throw. Mini has lapped him in percent. Can Holo find this stock? Because it's going to be very difficult to come back if it's three stocks to one. He's just spent so much time in disadvantage. And it's so difficult. I feel like with SBF, kind of neutral is, is that space between the platforms. Yeah. And he's been under that so little. He's just been denied center stage over and over and over again. And forced into the corner and forced uh, around the stage and above the stage. And he just can't get in. Oh, and that was smashed. Yeah, I mean, it looked like he was going to start running away with it. With that small string on the... On Holo's last stop, but um, there's still a chance here. Holo just has to play really solid. Because um, as you said, yeah, there's a very small area for neutral to be played. So if Holo can get the stage control as it does right now, it would be so useful. But Minimo just rolls straight through. Yeah, Minimo doing a good job with dealing with Nade under the platform. And I pointed out earlier, that can be kind of difficult to deal with. And it's one of the reasons a Banjo player might like SBF instead of PS2, even though it's a smaller stage. Oh, the gambit with the side beat does not work out. It is forced to recover. Ooh, nice pressure from Minimo there. And still, you know, forced to retreat a little bit, but gets the air to air. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get the wait. punish on the down air. Yeah, really nice tomahawk there. Just faking out the approach, then fading back a little bit, hitting the shield and getting a little more off it, but... Okay, yeah, this is a great match for Minimo there. He's making really good use of these platforms as well to evade a lot of Banjo setups. Yeah, just using them as safe havens to land as well. He's done a really good job at using the platforms to his advantage. Oh, tried to dash out, but the forwarder is going to hit the jump. 
if Holo can take the stock, there's a chance, but sitting at 100, almost 150%, this is quite dangerous. There's oh, side B. Brilliant yeah. patience. The no. way, like, he saw the nade and he was like, I need to back up here, keep him in the corner, and then he just waited for him to get that little bit desperate, waited yeah. for Holo to try and call out a dash, shielded and punished. Yeah, I mean, Mini Mo knew he was in control there, just can play it safe, as you said. Pull back, shield, and that's it, that's game three. Mini Mo up 2 1. Looks like we're going back to PS2. Okay, so loser's side, by the way, is not being streamed, and Trundle has beaten Focus Miss and ended on a, an insane run. Yeah, what a run. But yeah, really just have to focus Miss regardless all the way to 9. Hey, sorry, 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 7. And what a result. And here we go. Wow, big read at the start. Full hot laser from the platform. Saw the nade. Yeah. <laughs> just saw it. No. I refuse. We're back to PS2 again. Again, this is a wider stage. Yeah. This is the widest stage in the game. So this is, you know, it's not a bad stage for Wolf by any means. But uh, if Hollow wants to keep Wolf out and those bigger platforms aren't really working for him, then this is kind of the stage that you pick. Yeah, and also, yeah, the, the being in the corner is slightly less problematic on the stage. Yeah. Um, and you said the platforms covering less of the stage it, it means so much to being able to get around them as well and yeah. this is a pretty even start here yeah because being in the corner is as much of an issue because the gap between the legend of law zone is like pretty yeah that decently is. sized it's bigger than it is on spf it's why a lot of people think town is wider than ps2 because the legend of law zone oh, yeah. is like really different but, but yeah holos really good stock here and takes it first with that forward air so yeah Starting to see some fight from him. Coming yeah, back, big difference from previous game. Yeah, trying to bring this to game five. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, he's just trying to... The, the laser just stopping out <laughs> the grenades. <laughs> like, that clanking is gross, and maybe that's why we saw the owl work. I don't think that's a better <laughs> match. Can't. He's just, he can't get grenades! He's just, I, my B beats your B. <laughs> Oh, finally gets it, and this is a big opening. This is why Minimo is so intent on stopping Holo from getting these grenades, because yeah, the follow-up is insane. You just get to force him into the corner, oh, and you can get so much mileage off that. Oh, the pushback! Is that the edge guard? Oh, oh, barely missed the down tilt. That would've... Oh. So close to really snowballing with this now. Holo oh, survivability! Just, just barely survives. Brilliant DI coming up from Minimo. Holo's survivability has improved so much over the course of this set. He's sitting at 150. Oh, He's jumping jumps, around. Empty jumps. <laughs> oh, yeah. Finally, that up air is going to do it. But this is still a massive lead. Even just a single grab could seal the end. Tries to go for the up smash, which is going to give Minimo some openings here. Got a little bit of circus banjo there in the corner. And we're just starting to see Holo get a little bit more patient, try and wait for this kill. Minimo's going to take advantage. Most characters kind of struggle killing in this game. Banjo, not really an exception. Can be difficult for him to find those openings. You can He's see him. these side Bs, but it's not working out, but another one. You use as many as you can. You have five. And there it is. But Minimo has made this much closer if he can take the stock soon. His DI has been pretty good though, avoiding that forward air setup. Only one, only one left for this stock though. Yeah, I have to imagine maybe that might have been a miss input. Maybe he had the grenade there. Yeah, and probably trying to be reverse grenade. Yeah, and these are coming out. There's the last of the side Bs. It's going to hinder the recovery, especially at this percent. Okay, just trying to catch the double jump. But Hollow does not bite. Oh, the re grab, but the F tilt does not connect. Yeah, just a little bit of misspacing from Minimo's perspective. Do you see the cross up there? Yeah. That was a really nice shield mix up, but it doesn't matter. Minimo looking oh, tries to go. Oh. Looking for it all there, just getting a little bit frustrated. Cannot find this kill at all. And again, Hollow's survivability has gone up. It's like he's just figured out how Minimo is trying oh, to secure okay. the stocks. Beer back throw, but. Yeah, it's a nice DI mix up. Yeah. But I can see that Hollow's. Re when Minimo is in the corner, Hollow's putting the grenade to cover the ground and using new jump neutral beat to cover the platforms and force yeah. Minimo back onto the ground. So great control over the corner. But Minimo is starting to claw his way back into this. Oh, it's the parry, but the hair whiffs. That was a good phantom footstool there, actually. He double jumps. Oh, oh, oh that would have been really good. 
He phantom footstooled on purpose. The down oh touch comes out. This is last hit right now. He he double jump side me so that he didn't have to deal with the blaster. What a mix oh, up! Is the what a mix again. up! Game five. These side bees he's throwing out in these positions to kill is insane. It's just like. The, the adaptation there to no mini mode, he's constantly throwing out these blasters to stop me from double jumping. But if I side B early enough, I can just clank it, and it doesn't matter. And he's never going to expect that as a, as a mix-up. Really, really good, really, really smart to stay alive in that situation, and then finally another jump side B will take it. Yeah, the side B usage is just the key, honestly. We've seen the golden it. feathers of the golden ticket. <laughs> yes, they are. And yeah, game five. Um, perhaps they might be going back to small battlefield uh, on mini modes. Oh no, battlefield! They just need to pick the music. What are we gonna get? Hollow just took a, a second to power up. By the way, I just saw him down a red. <laughs> no, uh, not down a red. We took another sip of monster. We took another sip of monster. <laughs> Yeah, you need, you need that not, power up. <laughs> he, he's not Silver Law, he's not downing Red Bulls in between every <laughs> That'd be quite dangerous. That would be, he went to hospital! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's, that's banned famous from the, now. he's banned from the Red Bulls. Oh man. my god. <laughs> we are getting into this game. Uh, <laughs> We're on Battlefield, we haven't seen the stage yet. We did see Small Battlefield, but yeah, we have to see how that top platform plays into it. Minimo's been using the platforms yeah. a lot, as you said, to escape the pressure, so that top platform might help even more in that regard. Yeah, and uh, we were talking about how with SPF, the space that neutral is kind of played at is kind of small. It's even smaller here, and you can keep people above you for a really long time, because you've effectively got like a big semicircle to, yeah. of platforms to kind of keep people out. Uh, why did I... Silver, you, you caught a stray because you're an idiot for drinking Red Bull yeah. every game. You are going to get something for that if you have. Like, you got to keep track of that, man. Yeah. I don't know, like, maybe you were forgetting how many you drank, in which case, you know, I've I've done something similar to that. You should get checked for ADHD. But like, because because I'll be honest, like I I realized I have it. I got diagnosed like very recently. This is a completely unrelated tangent. But yeah, but you forget a lot of stuff that you've done. Like I could imagine forgetting how many Red Bulls I've drunk. Maybe that's it. But uh, but yeah, Minimo is have uh, does have a small lead here. Is a threat of being. Uh, having a stock taken, but as you've seen, some of these stocks have lasted quite a long time, and yeah. a lot of extra credit has been built up on these uh, yeah. long-lived stocks. Most characters in this game have really linear kill conditions, so being able to take advantage of that, know that your opponent is fishing for a kill and make a comeback, is something that a lot of good players do. It's something a lot of good players do to snowball as well. Mm. Uh, which is what we're seeing from Minimo. Yeah. He's like he's at 160 and he's still living and he gets like 70% yeah. plus he's at kill percent because he knows that it's going to be really hard for Hollow to find the kill. Yeah, and the air dust comes out. Hollow manages to drift back to the stage, but once again, as you said, the big semicircle there, Minimo is controlling it, but also retreating. He knows that it might be risky to contest that center stage. Update, by the way, Silva does actually have ADHD. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is no double jump, but he has to expend the side beat to get back. But this is, yeah, I need to get back there. And this is some good percent that Hollow is building up, but needs to get back to center stage to be safe from these kill moves. Okay, nice forward air from Minimo. Yeah, trying to use most really good area drift to just kind of bypass fighting Hollow yeah. to get the center stage, but Hollow's been stuffing that out with these areas as well, so. He's done a good, he's made good use of empty jumps to just kind of bait stuff out from Hollow. He's not gotten hit by that many side knees, and Hollow's only got one left on this Oh, and there it is, and it just barely survives. I was about to say he used it wisely. Minimo using his jump wisely there, really, that really smart. Here. Also really, really not really gonna well. do it, but. Oh, that's what it! Catch! Okay. Okay. And Hollow has Minimo on his last stock here, but at 150%, as you said. Has to play really careful so he can get percent by percent, hit by hit, to build up some extra credit here. Okay, this is 50%. It's looking good. But Minimo has Hollow in the corner now, but gets hit by that bomb and. Yeah, they are scrapping now. He's hit by his own bomb, maybe give himself some range. <laughs> 
correctly runs into center stage here. And Minimo is just getting running into all of these hits now. Some of these arrows and especially the grenade. Could have gone an up tilt there, but goes to up smash off the mark. But this is 198%, almost 200 here. And that's okay. finally going to do it. Does not, the F tilt does not drop. <laughs> yeah. Not, Very not critical there. there. Getting the kill at 198. Yeah, but and this... it's just his survivability is coming clutch. Now this is where... This is where things can go right or wrong. This is yeah. it. We're, we're looking at a oh, lost hit big situation. combo! Not going to be close to Kevin oh, in the corner! Retreat. That's it! And Minimo becomes the last high seed to fall in this top eight. No one has performed as expected. Upset City and... Yeah. Upset City. Upset...